All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's a very interesting question which I received recently in the YouTube comments. What was that question, sir? Why do we frequently see that people who start doing some spiritual practices give it up uh, in a matter of few months? <laughs> A uh, few years, maybe, if they are very fortunate or if they are very unfortunate, then within a few days or few weeks. But generally, you will see 95% of the people, they, they will give up their spiritual practices in a matter of few weeks or months. You will see, uh, like, you will see them doing something for three months and then they leave it. They'll just get rid of it sometimes. Or maybe they do it for six months. And then after six months, you talk to them and then they're back to the old habits, right? So why does this happen? And how can we prevent uh, ourselves from going back to the same things and stopping doing the right things, right? So this becomes very important because in Kali Yuga, Every day, every moment, dharma is going down. Every moment, the, the moment I'm making this video and the moment you are seeing this video, the consciousness level is going down. Every second, every moment it's happening. So, it's easier to do spiritual practices now <laughs> than now. <laughs> I hope you got it right. So, therefore, Let's try to analyze why this happens in the first place. So there are many reasons uh, why this can happen. But one of the most important reasons, and by the way, if you have not seen my Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam or Vishnu Sastanam videos, then you can uh, find it in the channel. Please uh, watch them. I hope you will get more clarity on this. But <clears throat> uh, specifically for this topic, the first reason and the most important, actually this is not the most important, I'll tell you the most important reason later. The first reason why this can happen is because you lack philosophical clarity. You, you do not understand what you are doing and why you are doing. You, you do not understand your position and you do not understand the path and you do not understand the goal. So you don't know where you are how long should you go? How long does not mean, you know, like one year, two year, ten years. But what is the gravity of the path? And once you reach, what will happen? If you do not understand this, if you do not understand the spiritual path clearly, then, then this will happen because the mind will see what happens. The Bhagavad Gita explains, you know, the, the mind is here then superior to the mind is the intelligence, which is uh, buddhi. So there is man, then there is buddhi. So above that, you know, the atma is there, of course, but the problem is when the intelligence is not strong, although it is above the mind, so the mind is here, the intelligence is here. But when the intelligence is weak, uh, it kind of dwindles and the mind overpowers the intelligence. Now, from a perspective of uh, Tattva and uh, Shakti, the intelligence is always more powerful than the mind, which means no matter what nonsense the mind says, we always have the power to use our free will and our uh, willpower and our intelligence to shut it down, shut all the nonsense down. But then the problem is, the question is, how many people have that willpower? So, if you lack philosophical clarity, then you need to get philosophical clarity. So if you are doing certain spiritual practices, you have to have crystal clear clarity why you are doing it. And what's your end goal and how is the journey like? If, if, if you do not have that, then it's very difficult for you to maintain that willpower. Because you will see, generally, that's the tendency of humans they are more likely to do something if they know where they are and how's the journey and what's the end destination. So from, uh, from today's perspective, if you try to understand if somebody wants to grow from, go from location A to location B and 
I, I, I tell you, oh, I, I leave you somewhere and you have to go somewhere and through some means, right? Then you, you are most likely to not take up that challenge. But if I tell you, you have to go from Delhi to Mumbai via whatever train or car or bus or flight, then you are more you are more likely to do it and also do it easily, right? So therefore, if there is lack of clarity, then the intelligence is very weak. The intelligence doesn't know. There is no motivation. There is no reason. There is no goddamn reason to do something. If you do not know, why should you do it, right? So, whichever uh, scriptural, uh, which, whichever spiritual path you are following, then you, you must read the books related to that tradition. Otherwise, it's a matter of time. You will give it up. Which means you have to go through the basics. Okay, if, if you don't do that, well, uh, it's a matter of time. Trust me, you you will perish. Okay? You will give it up. Okay? So this is uh, the first reason, lack of clarity. The second reason is, you know, bad habits of the past. So you started doing some spiritual practices. And as a part of that, you know, for example, you started, uh, you stopped eating non-vegetarian food which is very essential for uh, spiritual progress. Uh, but then what happened? You, um, I mean, you you still maintained the group of your old friends who with whom you used to indulge in meat eating or, you know, alcohol or watching pornography, for example. So then what happens? You are not able to give up your bad habits. You, you continue, you perpetually dwell on, on the same things that you were doing eternally. Then what happens is you, you stay where you are, right? So, if you still perpetually, deliberately keep all your materialistic associations where they are, then it's a matter of time. You're going to leave it. You will come back again. <laughs> so, you will fail in your spiritual practices. It's just a matter of time. So one of the most essential things, most essential principles of a spiritual path is that <clears throat> you have to distance yourself from activities which are dragging you down to the animalistic level. You have to do it. You have to. Now how do you do that? Well, you can exercise some level of uh, self-control but most importantly, it, to take the easy way route, you have to avoid putting yourself in such situations which will drag you down. Because always remember, your willpower can be less or more. But it's not unlimited. Your willpower is still limited and it will always be. Do not forget that. So, if you think that you will put yourself, you know, in any situation. So, for example, if you were addicted to wine, alcohol, or you used to take wine sometimes. And now you have to get rid of it because <clears throat> that's going to drag you down. So, what do you do? You continue going to parties. You continue associating with the people who uh, sleep at 3 a.m. in the morning. You perpetually do that. So, that's the definition of insanity, which is like... And that's like you keep repeating the same thing over and over again and again and you expect a different result. Well, sir, madam, it's not going to happen. So you have to make a choice. If you are doing some spiritual practices, there are certain things you will have to give up, fortunately. Okay. Otherwise, it's not happening, sir. So this is the second reason. We maintain our materialistic attachments. Okay, so if there's some friend, you know, who is watching adult material and you have a habit of watching adult material in the internet, you know, like pornography or whatever, sexual material, or you are, you know, uh, men are more into watching sexual material and women are, you know, more into all the, reading all this uh, sexual literature. This is what research says uh, because men are more visual and women are more, you know, uh, they are more in their imagination. So, 
Now imagine you have a bunch of friends who are doing the same and you still maintain their company and you keep meeting them and you keep discussing. Then what, what do you expect? You think it's going to change? No, it's going to be even worse. Okay. So <clears throat> please do not maintain the company of the people who dragged you down. So gradually you have to start disassociating yourself with them. Gradually, slowly. Gradually doesn't mean in the next 10 years. At least in the next three months, you have to got to do it. You have to do it. Or at least in the next three to four weeks. At least next three months. <laughs> and it will be painful. They will pull you. They will drag you. Oh, yes, come on. Come and have this uh, delicious, you know, whatever. Some non-vegetarian dish, you know. I uh, or, you know, it's like, go and have this drink at the party. Or, you know, let's see this movie. You know, it's like, there's something, right? <laughs> we all know what's in the movies these days. But we perpetually continue to watch them, right? So, then what happens is, we, we are artificially doing something, you know. Sometimes we do some spiritual practices and then... Uh, Eventually, we are no different. We just stop it externally, right? After some time. So, number three is the most important. It, that is, we do not take strong shelter in the association of the spiritual community. Sat, Sang, that is the meaning of the word. Sat and Sang, you can divide the word. So, Sat means, you know, Sattva Gun, Sattvic Lifestyle. And Sangha means to associate. So to associate with sadhu, saintly person, spiritually elevated people. Associate with those who are more elevated than you. You know your gut feeling says, right? Yes, this person is more elevated than me. This person is more knowledgeable. This person is more experienced. This person has more wisdom. I need to learn from this person. <clears throat> so if we can do that, then what happens is we will be able to come out of problem number one, which is, you know, lack of philosophical clarity. We will get philosophical clarity with them. And number two is we will be able to give up our bad habits because we will cultivate good habits. You know, so suppose uh, you, you like to discuss about, you know, um, which cricketer is getting married to which film star or the either way around. <laughs> Or you are wasting your time doing certain things uh, in the internet, watching adult material, or discussing about politics or some other nonsense, right? Or just randomly grazing some uh, videos in YouTube, always. But now what happens? Your mindset will change. You will start discussing about spiritual topics. Wherever you meet people, you will discuss about, you know, God and spirituality, Atma, Jivan, Sansar, Karma and all these things you will discuss. And then you will make progress. So, if you do not associate with members of the spiritual community, at the least in the weekends, you know, every weekend, if you do not associate with members of the spiritual community, it's like a dead end. It's not weekend. Because, Whatever you do in the weekdays, anyways, you know, more grounded towards your profession. And in the weekend, if you come and just again go out with your materialistic uh, counterparts, then it's a dead end. It's a never ending cycle. And the Janma Janmantar Chakra will continue. It's like birth, re death, rebirth, death, rebirth, death, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, bachelors. Oh, sorry, school, nursery, school, um, high school, bachelor's, job, master's, PhD, marriage, kids, whatever. It, it continues life after life. It's the same uh, dog eating. Uh, it's like the business of the dogs are continuing life after life. Okay. Yes, that's what will happen to us. So therefore, uh, if you want to come out of this perpetual uh, materialistic madness, the material hangover, then you have to associate with members of the spiritual community. 
Otherwise, there's no hope because the members of the spiritual community, they are like magnets. You know, they're like, they're like, they will pull us. The scriptures explain the example of the sun. The sun is very powerful. It can disinfect uh, a place which is dirty. It can, it can take away the water from a place without uh, becoming contaminated by them by by this dirt the sun is very powerful the sun can do it so that that's what it is you know it's like you 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 have to understand what you are doing and if you do not understand ask people who know what you should do right and at the same time stay away from people who tell you do not do this <laughs> And in my experience, I have always seen like even if you are having trouble with the first and second, it's still fine. But if if you are neglecting the third principle, it's a matter of time. Take it in writing. I will sign it. You will leave it. It's just a matter of time. Just it's a matter of weeks. You leave it. Okay. So try to reduce your materialistic association. Uh, and increase your spiritual association, only then there is some hope. Otherwise, in Kali Yuga, by default, everything is going down. It's like, it's going downhill. It's it's like a royal road to hell. I'm sorry, it's very, it's not very pleasing to hear all this, but that's how it is. Look at how the material world is. It's terrible. It's a terrible place. It's not a gentleman's place. And that's what the Bhagavad Gita says. It's Dukhala Amashashvatam. I'm not saying this. Lord Krishna is saying this. <laughs> so therefore, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, as the Vedanta Sutra says, look towards the higher reality. You know, inquire about spiritual wisdom. Learn from those who are more experienced. Only then there is some hope or else we will we will become another nobody or nothing in the pages of history which are also designed to be doomed in some time in the future, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your patience and if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me, you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. Thank you.